What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the FS Manager application, which is a standalone file manager app released by Lightning Mods that allows us to manage our files locally on our PS4, which is something that certainly I've been requesting for a while uh, because up till now we've had Orbis Man Beta, which is great, but you know, it's not a standalone file manager app and the file manager that's built into it is a bit lacking in certain areas. So now we have a standalone file manager app because up till now, other than Orbis Man Beta, we've had to use FTP all the time, even if we're just trying to you know, move files locally on the ps 4 hard drive um, or delete a file or something like that, we have to connect with, via another device in order to do that, which is you know, not ideal. So now we have a standalone file manager application this is good. This is this is what I wanted. So, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So the download link to the package file for the Homebrew app will be in the description. And uh, I'm not going to use the remote package installer, although if you have that set up, then you should install it via the remote package installer because it will be quicker and easier. But because I know that not everybody who's watching this video will have watched my tutorial on the remote package installer, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to install it manually. So. On the computer, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, plug in a USB stick that is formatted in XFAT format. As you can see, XFAT format. Um, if it's not in XFAT format, just right click and format it and choose XFAT as the file system or FAT32, of course, that'll work as well. So then we're going to go into the USB stick, copy the file manager app into the root of the USB stick. Don't put it in any folders. And then just unplug the USB once it's copied over, plug it into the PS4. And from here, we're gonna go to the internet browser on the PS4. So you just you just head to your exploit page and you run hen version 1.8. And we're gonna load up hen version 1.8 uh, or any version of hen, unless you're using the remote package installer, which does require version 1.8. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to settings and after running hen, you'll now have the debug settings loaded at the bottom. So, so you're gonna go in there, you're gonna click on game and then package installer. And then the packages on the USB will show up, which is the file manager, the only one we have there. So we're gonna go ahead and select A on that and that will install the package file. So please note that I probably will end up saying A a lot for select when I mean X, um, just because I've been on the switch recently. So. I've got A in my head for select, but obviously it's X. So if I do end up saying A again at some point in the video, which I probably will, please note that I do mean X, not A, obviously, because there is no A button on a PS4 controller. So that's my bad. And that's it, installed, ready to use. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the file manager now that we have it installed. Now I have tried this once before and it is a little bit buggy um, and it has to be used in a particular way that's not quite so obvious, uh, which I'll I'll kind of go over in a second here. So as you can see, it looks very much like Cody. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go into root. And as you can see, all our files load up on, that are on the hard drive, just like they would in FTP. And not only that, but uh, there is an issue with the scrolling if you use the left stick, because it doesn't scroll down. You just have to use the D-pad instead. Not too big of an issue though, nothing, you know, nothing that stops it from working. So let's go into the update folder and we'll just kind of mess around with some file file options in here. So if I press the triangle button, that brings up the menu and in here we can do a bunch of different things. We can create a folder, we can delete um, files. It doesn't seem to work with folders at the moment. Uh, you can copy and paste files, uh, cut and paste, rename and settings. And if you look at the settings, there's actually an FTP option and your IP is there in the bottom right hand corner. So you can also connect uh, through FTP to this as well. So you can copy your files locally just using the UI that's built into this Homebrew app. But then if you wanna copy files from another device, you can connect to it through FTP. So really useful right there. Let's do a couple of file operations just to kind of show how it works. So if we press triangle, we can actually uh, create. Now we can create a file or a folder. So if I create a file, I can create a We'll just create a test file here. Test uh, dot, let's do txt for just a new text file. I can do that. 
and then I can press triangle which creates it as a new uh, file and it does add all these extra things here which isn't right but if you just back out and you go back into the um, go back into the same folder then that kind of corrects itself so we have our new test file that we created right there now if we want to delete it now this is the bit that's not quite obvious and it's not quite as intuitive as I think it maybe should be but um, because you see I would think that just hovering over the file and then opening up this menu and selecting delete would delete that file but it doesn't it fatal crashes if you try and do that so what you actually what you're meant to do is you're actually supposed to go down to the file itself press x on it and then and then bring up the menu and then select delete and then as you can see that deletes the file so that's how you're supposed to do it um just what would be more useful maybe in a future update if you could make it so that when you actually press A on the file it stays highlighted or it highlights it in a different color or a different shade um, just to make it obvious that that's, that file is still selected because when you select a file it goes back up here and then you don't know if the file is actually selected or not uh, when it actually is so that makes things a bit confusing. So let's go ahead and uh, create a, a new folder this time. So we'll just go with the default name and we press L2 to create the new folder and there it is. So it's created that folder. We can also select a file. So we can copy a file and then go into the folder and paste it. And there we go, our file has been copied and pasted into that folder. So quite a few different things you can do there. Uh, with this file manager you can also rename things as well so let's try that let's rename uh, ah see there you go there's a perfect example right so it's thinking of it's thinking I'm still selecting the folder which I'm not so I actually have to press a on exception.txt and then rename and I'm able to rename it now so just it's just a couple of things there that make it a little bit confusing to use yeah, so if I just highlight a file, for example, and I press Y and I try and copy it to here, and then I paste, you see it did, it pasted the entire folder instead of that, because I have, to, I have to press A on the file so that it knows I'm wanting to copy this file, and then copy it, and then paste it, and then it works. So it's, it's just that, that I know that's going to confuse people because it confuses me and it messes me up. Um, so yeah, just remember what, whenever you're doing something to a file, you have to press A on it first. And even though the, it goes back up to highlighting the back option, you're still actually selected on the file that you selected. So we, we're still selecting exception.txt even though we're highlighting back. Um, so then when you bring up this menu and you copy and paste or do any or rename you can see it's it's renaming exception.txt so just stuff like that um, that uh, could be improved upon and I'm sure lightning mods knows about a lot of these issues and he's going to be you know probably making updated versions and the links in the description will be the links to the the post on PSX hacks which normally does get updated with new versions so you know even if you're watching this a few weeks later when there's a new version available that maybe fixes some of this stuff it will be you know it'll still be there in the description that you can you can get the latest version from so yeah anyway it's still really useful that we have this though um, and we can actually manage our files from the uh, you know the console itself instead of having to connect via a computer uh, with a separate application uh, one other thing that doesn't seem to work right now is deleting folders I'm not sure how because again you have to press a on the folder to on a file to select it um, and obviously if you press a on a folder it doesn't select the folder it goes into the folder so then how do you delete said folder it, it doesn't seem to work so again a few things here and there that uh, can definitely be improved upon and I'm sure like I said lightning mods will address those in hopefully fairly soon in the future so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful if you did please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys again for the next video